Now, the Medical and Health Workers Union of Nigeria, Bayosa State Chapter, says it will begin an indefinite industrial action on Friday of a non-payment of 15-month salary arrears owed its members. Chairman of the union, Barnabas Simon, who gave the notice in a statement, explained that the arrears owed the union members range from 2 to 15 months. Simon expressed displeasure over many unresolved issues by the government as it affects primary health care workers in the eight local government areas in the state. He said that the union had given the government a notice on the strike which would expire tomorrow. He expressed regret that there were no signs from the government on meeting the demand for payment of the outstanding emoluments of the health workers. Meantime, stake Holders in the health sector have called on the federal government to harness the gains of the Nigerian State Health Investment Project and SHIP, a model implemented across some state in the country, saying it will help create a functional health system and cut costs. Speaking during the closing ceremony of the project in Abuja, they say the project caused tremendous changes in the primary health care system, with about 30 million people having access to quality basic health care services in eight states. Also speaking, the executive director and CEO of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency says the success of the endship has also strengthened the primary health care policies. The implementation, implementation of endship brought about a paradigm shift from traditional input-based financing, fragmented and under accountability, top-bottom investment approach lack of verification, centralized medicine supply, and has taken us to what we have had today, a result-based financing with well-defined and monitored performance indicators. We have accountability, we have bottom-up investment decisions, and rigorous verification and decentralization of medicine and health commodities supply within the PAC landscape. You spend money on drugs. We spend money on renovations. The different departments and agencies and channels through which you spend money for health, if you put all of them together at the state level, it will amaze you how much you are spending. And yet the results have been minimal. The airship model is a very good model you can replicate. You will spend less and get better results. We have learned lessons. We can harness this lesson. We can synthesize it, come out with a common policy for the government. And it is this policy that will direct the next phase of primary health care. If we want the universal health care coverage that we all desire, it is our goal as Nigerians to look at how we can look inward, how we can focus inward to produce results. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.